So let's introduce Terraform variables. A variable is a symbolic name associated with a value. And it works the same way in Terraform as it does in other programming languages or in mathematics in general. Here we have two different blocks of information in Terraform. On the right, we have the variable block. And this is where we assign a symbolic name for a variable and associate the value. On the left-hand side, we have a standard resource block. And this is where we would call on the variable or refer to the variable. So two pieces to the puzzle when it comes to variables in Terraform. And in reality, it gets a little bit more complex than that, but we'll start with this as our example. So on the right-hand side, we have a new Terraform block that we haven't encountered yet. It's the variable block. This is where we set the symbolic name and the value. So we can call the symbolic name whatever we want. For example, here we're calling it instance underscore name. But it could be whatever you like, whatever makes sense to you, and whatever works within your naming conventions. We also have a description, which is not necessary. We also have type, which is a string, which also is not necessary. And then we have a default value. So we're actually assigning the value here, and we're calling the value lesson 07 variables. So that's going to be the actual variable, but the symbolic name for that variable will be this, instance underscore name. Now, in reality, you don't have to have any of that information there. You don't even have to have the default value. The value could be stored elsewhere and often is. So that's the variable block. And normally, we would put this into a file called variables.tf or we'd put it into a tfvars file or something similar to that. But variables tf is one example, and that's what we're going to use in the lab. On the left-hand side, we have that resource block. And this is very similar to the resources we've been working with before. We have an AWS instance. We have a Terraform name for it. But here, instead of assigning the name in the tag section, manually, we're going to use a variable reference. So we're going to call on the variable. So this is actually calling on this over here, this variable block. And to call on a variable, we use var. And it's just going to be var dot and the name of that symbolic variable, instance underscore name, which we saw over here. So we create that symbolic name on the right-hand side here in the variable block. We call on it on the left-hand side here within our resource or whatever other infrastructure we are using or creating. So in a nutshell, variables allow you to write more flexible and reusable configurations. That's the key here. And we can do many more variables if we wish to. If we're working in a variables.tf file, we could have additional variables block. And just keep making those blocks and have as many variables as we want. And within our resource, we could call on those variables with additional var references. And we could do that for the AMI. We could do it for the instance type and whatever else. The whole idea here is so that any variable information is stored here in variables.tf or in another type of file, as long as it's separate from our main infrastructure code. What this means is this area here is user definable. So the user can define this. And what we're trying to do is keep the user out of this area here. Users, keep out. 
they shouldn't be making any modifications to this. Any variable information, any individual variables that might change or values that might change over time should be called as variables from here. And their values should either be here or in another file. This way, the typical user or the typical developer or engineer does not make any modifications to our main infrastructure, our main infrastructure files. And this helps to, as a best practice, to keep our files clean and to avoid and prevent mistakes that could happen when engineers or developers start messing with our architectural files. So keep the users, quote unquote, within the variables blocks. Keep them within that variables file, whatever it might be. And we're going to talk about the different types of Terraform variable files that you can work with. So again, a variable is a symbolic name associated with a value. In this case, the symbolic name is instance underscore name, and the actual value is lesson 07 variables. And we call on that variable with this type of code in Terraform, var dot and whatever the symbolic name is. And finally, variables allow you to write more flexible and reusable configurations and also prevent issues that may occur because we're stopping typical end users from modifying our main Terraform files.